Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Today we saw a major potential reversal in this market with high probability uh, major reversal signals. The Dow created a shooting star Harami in the overbought condition, making the next likely target back here to the T-line. That in itself would uh, suggest there's going to be more downside, but you add the NASDAQ that it did a bearish kicker signal with stochastics heading down, telling you they failed here at the 50. You add those two uh, analysis together, and more than likely the bears have now taken control. Now, this allows us to go short in. Uh, trades that have strong reversals. Last week, we saw Tesla do a kicker signal to the upside, telling us that the electric vehicle sector might be coming back. However, in today's trading, with it closing back below the T-line, stochastics rolling over, this implies there's no buyers now in Tesla. That whole sector could be trading lower. So any of the stocks in that sector, like Nikola, also doing a bearish kicker signal. Notice the failure here at the uh, T-line, rounding top, giving you wave one, wave two, high probabilities that wave three of the J bearish J-hook pattern will be in progress. You add the fact that they did a best friend bearish, a bearish best friend. They couldn't get back up above the T-line. They did a bearish kicker signal, very strong evidence that the bears are in control. That same recommendation was based on, uh, or that uh, our recommendation on run was based on that same scenario that when it did a doji best friend gap down through the T-line, we started shorting on weakness, which was confirmed again today with the bearish kicker signal right here off the, uh, the, the uh, 200 implying wave one, wave two, wave three, starting of a bearish J-hook pattern. Things like Apple, you can see the doji, the doji rule is going to move in the direction how they opened after a doji. Yesterday's trading was lower. Today's trader, trading was even lower, gap down at the T-line and heading south, more than likely, Apple was heading for the 200-day moving average. This is merely putting the assessment of candlestick signals and where they're occurring, giving you much higher probabilities of analyzing who's in charge, the bulls or the bears. The oil sector, this is just common sense that if you see a candlestick sell signal and then another candlestick sell signal, this is our bearish left right combo this is our bearish best friend and this one this signal closed below the t line you stay short until you see a buy signal again the likely target of heading here to the 50 with your stochastic still heading down so right now it looks like a lot of the uh, stocks are selling off that should change your orientation of your trading immediately meaning you should start looking for things that are on the downside going short and any long positions that were looking iffy at all, close it out until there's better uh, uh, trend direction or a bullish trend trajectory. That'll be it. Oh, now I forgot to mention. The 12 major signals are what we start our uh, two-day comprehensive training on uh, March 27th, March 28th. This is taking all the information of candlestick analysis going from A to Z. So it's in a logical, chronological order that when you get done with the uh, two-day weekend training, you'll have a completely different perspective on what you should be looking for for price moves uh, based upon candlestick signals and patterns where to enter, where to exit, where to put your stop losses, how to scan for the best possible trades, and then how you quantify which of 
maybe a number of good trades on any good day. Could Which ones are going to be the best ones? So with that, look for the market to head lower. We'll see you in the chat rooms.